Oh no boy. Sam, Sam. In the last four and a half years, we have traveled to 15 states and three countries, lived in four different apartments and two different cities combined. We have worked for six companies. We have beat seven video games. We have hiked for a combined of almost 200 hours. And we have been couch potatoes for about triple that. <laughs> we have made $500 in Vegas and lost $300 in fantasy football. <laughs> Together we have discovered our love for good tequila. Created 20 different songs and jingles and mastered one secret handshake. It's been quite the journey. Anyway, for the past four and a half years, we have been there for each other, for better and for worse, for richer and for poor, in sickness and in health. We have loved and cherished each other's company. So, what's so different about today? Today is not about change. Our lives together won't suddenly begin after a kiss. Today, we make one important promise. The promise that there will be many more chapters to celebrate. I don't mean to downplay the importance of this promise though. It is the most important promise we make in our lives. We make this promise in front of God, in front of witnesses, in front of friends and family. So if you think about it, it was who we were and how we loved in the past four and a half years that made us decide to stand here today. It wasn't the thought of future promises or of a better life that made us come together as bride and groom. You have shown your love to me every day and I hope that I have done the same to you. So Samuel Swartz, here are my vows to you. I vow to keep our relationship as interesting, as lively, as loving, and as an emotionally inspiring as it has always been. I vow to keep fighting, exploring, learning, and growing. I vow to keep respecting you, to make our family my priority, to put our family's needs before my own. I vow to keep us, us, because we're pretty awesome as is. I've been eagerly awaiting this day when you'll finally become my wife. And I'm sure you have too. I still remember the first day we met, your first day of work at Enterprise. I was skeptical of the new girl who had aced her first week of training, but you were cute, funny, and loved making donut runs to Dunkin' Donuts with me, so we started dating. Uh, I remember giving you the engagement ring in Rockport about a year ago, a little over a year ago. Um, we sat on the rocky shore on a sunny day. I gave you your ring. You were surprised and overwhelmed. <laughs> overwhelmed with emotions. Um, your dad was happy not only because we were engaged, but because he knew before you did that you'd be getting a ring that weekend. Uh, it was a perfect day and we were so happy, but that was nothing compared to now. The one thing I don't understand is why everyone keeps asking me if I'm nervous, because have they not met you? <laughs> um, you'll undoubtedly make the best wife, you know, not only because you love going to Eagles games and you often cheer louder than me, uh, or because your idea of a perfect Friday night is ordering a pizza, drinking beer, and playing PlayStation, uh, or because you taught me how to cook like a pro and dress like an adult. You cared for me when I was sick, you know, and you accepted my family as your own. You cared for my sick grandmother with more compassion than I knew existed. You come to my YMCA basketball games, and when we lose, you're angrier about the loss than anyone in the actual team. Uh, or because, you know, when we work in the exact same field, and we're studying for the same degree, and you try so hard not to brag about being better at, at both. <laughs> uh, but, you know, Marina, I think the most important reasons why you'll make the best wife is you're strong, you're caring, you're loving, you're good-hearted. We have so much fun together. It's, it's cliche, but it's true. You're my best friend. Marina, you're so smart. You're tough. <laughs> Except with the crying. <laughs> you're resilient. You make me a stronger man. You've made my life perfect and complete. Marina, nothing will stop us, and I feel bad for anyone who gets in our way. I promise to treat you like a princess. You, de you deserve the best. I will always love you. That these rituals have reached their intended conclusion, and that celebration, merriment, and joy should now commence. Sam and Hortensia Marina, may your life together be precious and whole.